things are heating up like crazy right now in the blockchain space. I mean, I'm seeing new projects come out all the time. I mean, it seems like I'm seeing new ones every single week. So that's an amazing thing if you're trying to become a blockchain developer because that means developer demand is going up and it's going up a lot faster than, you know, the number of skilled developers who are entering the marketplace. Which means that right now is the perfect time to double down on these skills and really master them while it's still early. And so in this video, I want to show you how to do that as fast as possible. Like if you don't want to waste any time and you really want to jump on this train, you know, as it's leaving the station. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to master these highly valuable skills, like right now, while it's still early, then I can show you how to do that step by step over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. So blockchain demand is really starting to heat up like crazy. And that's because so many people are trying to jump into this space and build projects and capitalize on this trend that's taking off right now. Okay. I mean, I'm getting probably twice as many project inquiries as I normally do on a weekly basis. And literally, as I was just pulling up my web browser to make this video, like I just saw this tweet from uh, Richard Burton talking about like, you know, some early stage projects that are launching needing to hire, uh, you know, smart contract developers and things like that. So I'm starting to see a lot of this stuff really pick up. And there was a really strong demand for blockchain developers before this started really increasing over the past few months. I mean, I've, I've talked about my channel for a long time about how blockchain is one of the highest paying fields in tech. Uh, you know, ZipRecruiter lists an average salary of $154,000 per year. Now, that's sure that's average as for somebody with some experience. And of course, your mileage may vary depending on where you live. But even if you just compare those stats like to, you know, mobile developer, like $101,000 versus like uh, front end web developers, like $80,000. And you can see the salary distribution. A lot of that's just got to do with basic supply and demand economics. Like a lot of people want to hire blockchain developers, but there's hardly anybody who knows how to do it, at least on the grand scheme of things, all right, compared to these other fields. So like if you want to just jump into this trend and, uh, you know, go, go full time into blockchain, like what if you don't want to waste any time? What can you do? Well, I just thought about this and I would like ask myself this question, like what would I personally do if I like had to start all over again? Like I didn't have my YouTube channel. I didn't have any of the knowledge. I had to start from square one. Well, that's what I've tried to do. All right. Now, some of this depends on your uh, situation for sure. Like, are you a developer already? Do you have like zero coding background? So I'll try to give you some ideas on where both of those types of people can start. And then so you had a transition into actually, uh, you know, working in blockchain. All right, so I'm going to tell you like how to do this, and I'm going to actually draw upon you know real world data that I've come across recently. This is firsthand knowledge because I've uh, seen people who are applying for blockchain developers as new jobs right now, especially in this DeFi trend that's really started to heat up, and also people who have just recently got hired as blockchain developers. So I have real insight into how that happened, and I'm going to help share that with you today. So first and foremost, you know you need the skills to pay the bills if you're going to earn money as a blockchain developer. You know, you have to know the programming languages, you have to know how to build applications and actually provide value to a company that wants to pay you. So this is true, like whether you're already a developer or you're not a developer yet, like both of you have to kind of overcome that gap of learning the right skills for blockchain. And if you're an experienced programmer already, you're certainly going to have a leg up and be able to accomplish this faster. But if you're not a developer, like you don't have any experience, that's okay. Like I got my first developer job with zero coding experience. I didn't go to a coding boot camp. In fact, I got rejected from coding boot camp. I taught myself and landed my first freelancing job and that's how I started my career. And I've also helped people with zero programming experience become real world blockchain developers. You should check out the video I did with Ben, how he got his first blockchain developer job with no coding experience. So part of it is actually learning the right tech stack that companies want, okay? Especially if you're talking about Ethereum, we're talking about the DeFi trend that's happening right now, like that's where a lot of this stuff is headed. Then you're gonna do really well to learn the exact skills that I teach you on my YouTube channel. I mean, I just got an email from somebody the other day who just got their first blockchain developer job, you know, with the tech stack that I teach right now. But what is that? Well, it's Solidity, that's the programming language that's used to write Ethereum smart contracts. It's Web3.js, that's the JavaScript library for interacting with the Ethereum blockchain. And you know, Truffle for developing smart contracts, and then also using React JS for user interfaces. And React is probably the least important out of all of these. But even if you are like a purely backend developer, then uh, just knowing some React where you can create a user interface is really important because a lot of jobs are going to want to see that you you know have some ability to uh, create user facing features. And so if you don't know these programming languages, like, hey, maybe you're a developer and you know something else or you don't have any programming experience at all, then I highly recommend just learning the languages as you go. Like, I wouldn't recommend just sitting down and trying to learn the programming languages uh, from scratch and then go learn blockchain. I would recommend jumping in, trying to build a blockchain project because that means you have purpose for your learning. It gives you focus and you're going to learn faster. Right? That really is the fastest way to get in. 
So how can you do that? Well, you know, you can definitely go to any of my uh, free tutorials on YouTube. So here on my YouTube homepage, this free blockchain development courses. I highly recommend choosing one of the more recent tutorials because the dependencies are gonna be up to date. But if you follow that step by step, like you'll learn how to build a project, put everything together, and also learning the programming languages as you go along. And by the time this video comes out, I should have a brand new tutorial posted right here uh, that'll show you how to build a DeFi app that's really hot right now. And so that's the first step, is basically to just to acquire the skills, do some tutorials, get your feet wet. But once you've done that, you definitely need to prove your skills, okay? So uh, that means taking the next step and actually building something unguided. So instead of like following a tutorial that says, hey, you know, today I'm gonna teach you how to build blank. Well, if you can say, hmm, here's something that I want to build, actually come up with an idea yourself and then try to figure out how to write the code that does that, okay? And that's where you're gonna really solidify your learning because, you know, you're gonna run into walls, you're gonna get stuck. And that's when you basically need to you know, reach out to Google to try to get unstuck. And we've also got people who are going down this path inside the membership program for Blockchain Master University where they like reaching out and getting help with the Slack channel. And so that's a really good way to go about that too. And that's how you're gonna solidify your skills. Uh, but ultimately, like once you've kind of done that, like maybe even that's a tutorial project, but then you wanna take it to the next step and actually build a portfolio, okay? Because this is where you need to prove to an employer that like you have what it takes to do the job, all right? And uh, what you ideally wanna do is create something that's like on a, like a real world project. And so if you want some ideas for that, I'll give you a free idea right here. So I was actually helping somebody the other day who was trying to apply for a blockchain job. So I saw like the code challenge that they were asked to complete. So basically they were asked to create an app that interacted with the Compound protocol and to create an app that actually extended the functionality of Compound to sort of meet their scenario. So I don't wanna give the whole thing away because it may not be public information. I won't name the company or anything like that. But like this is an idea of something you can do is like think about something that could leverage the power of Compound to create some added benefit for an end user, hook into their smart contract, you know, write a user interface for it and make it so that an employer can actually use it, okay? That's gonna be super impressive, especially if you're trying to kind of ride this DeFi wave because they're gonna see that you already understand how this whole space works. You know how to write, create smart contracts that, you know, interact with real smart contracts on the mainnet, can provide users in value. You can create applications that talk to those smart contracts and you're gonna have a fully integrated understanding from top to bottom. As if you want a free idea, that's what I would say. You know, once you've created this for a real world project, you definitely need to market yourself in some way. So, you know, you need to want to create the, you want to create an actual portfolio where you sort of organize the projects that you've done and, you know, present them in a very pleasing way to an employer, you know, sell yourself, you know, resume, all that kind of stuff. So I would recommend in the very minimum having a GitHub, all right? Open source the code, put it on GitHub, uh, create a marketing website for yourself where you, you know, basically introduce yourself, you know, pitch yourself and show them what you can do. And so once you've got all of those things, it really is time to make the jump. You have to kind of have your zero to one moment where you go from like not being a blockchain developer to being a blockchain developer that gets paid to do that. So there's kind of a, a fork in the road here. All right. I'll give you a few different options on, you know, how you could proceed. All right. So I'll start with this, assuming that you already have a regular job of some kind. All right. Maybe you have a developer job. Maybe you're already a developer. You're trying to get into blockchain or maybe you're not in a developer job at all, but you have some other job or maybe it's a part-time job. Maybe it's a full-time job in a different industry. Here are a few different ways you can go. So one way would be to go the freelance route. All right. And I don't necessarily mean that you want to become a full-time freelance developer, but you could basically try to get some freelance work on the side while you're working your regular job. Here's a few really good reasons why. Number one, it's the fastest way for you to earn money in blockchain uh, because you can just get on a, a website like upwork.com with all the stuff that I showed you, like basically you have a portfolio, you know, show them what you can do and you can start applying for jobs uh, there's less friction for people to hire you because they don't have to pay you healthcare expenses if you're in the United States. It's just a lot easier to pick up freelancers than it is full-time employees. There's less commitment on the employer's behalf, okay? So that's the fastest way to start earning money. And this is actually really good even if you don't want to become a freelancer full-time because if you can do it on top of your regular job with a fewer number of hours per week to try blockchain out, first of all, it's less risk. And second of all, if you have some freelancing experience on your resume, it's gonna be way more likely that you'll actually land a full-time blockchain developer job because they'll just see that you have professional experience and to show for it. It's a, it's a much easier stepping stone from going from like no one's ever hired you before, like, 
you know, getting the portfolio to that and then getting a real job. Now, if you want to become a full-time freelancer, then I go on from even there. But another thing you can think about is if you want to get some freelancing work fast, you can always work for a cheaper rate. You know, you could even do a pro bono or something like that. Um, I don't necessarily recommend doing unpaid work, but if you really had to, you could. And at that really early phase, like even if you're an experienced developer, it may be a good thing to do because uh, the experience is worth something. And once you have that experience, you have, you know, a bartering chip. Uh, that's going to make it so much easier to get that you know regular job, you know full time job if that's what you want to do. Now, if you don't go the freelancing route, you can definitely go the job route right here. It's just not quite as fast, or it's less likely to be fast. You might get lucky, you might apply for a job and get one overnight, but I think this might take just a little bit longer if you're starting from scratch. Okay, but if you are starting from scratch, you definitely want to really focus on your portfolio and really focus on what you can do and communicating that really well to an employer. And so ultimately, you know, you have to decide for yourself which route. You you want to go. And of course, your mileage may vary. There's no guarantees with any of this stuff. But that's one of the fastest ways to become a blockchain developer. And honestly, it's what I would do, like I said, if I was starting over at zero with no YouTube channel, with no skills, no anything. And now I'll also leave you with this as a you know realistic caveat. There's the old uh, you know triangle of good, fast, cheap. Okay. So just because it's fast doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be cheap. All right. And it could probably in this case you know, replace the word cheap with hard. <laughs> it's definitely going to be harder to do it faster. But, 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 huge caveat here. You want it to be hard. The hard is a good thing because that means it's much more likely that it will be worth it. All right, so that's all I've got. You know, as always, smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget, you know, if you really want to jump on this trend while it's still early, uh, then you have to have the technical skills in order to become highly paid. So, you know, you know, as a recap, how can you get those? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage, find my in my free courses listed there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. They'll teach you the programming languages, the technology, you know, as you're building a real world project. Okay. So, you know, if you like those and you want to take the next step, or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, then I can show you to master blockchain step by step from start to finish so that you can, you know, land a high paying job become a freelancer, you know, build your own project, uh, just head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.